folks, can you read what that says right there? 428. Steve is the one that's got the uh, original GT car. Um, I think it's like a 68. He talked about a 428 Cobra Jet that he had. Here's the 428 Cobra Jet. I thought it was the other car when I first saw it. Um, but the license plate bracket says it's a 68 Ford Mustang Cobra Jet. Uh, 428 Cobra Jet. So they're almost identical. Um, he's had the car about eight years. Everything is original under the hood except for the block. One of the owners blew it up, blew a hole in the block. It is an original replacement 428 Cobra Jet car. It is a uh, R-coated car, which means it's got the Ram Jet. See, that's that part right there. Fits into that part right there. Which sucks in through that part right there. So, it's, a, it's an original 428 Cobra Jet car, GT. Take a look around. See, uh, it's a straight, nice car. That's for sure. It says it's got 64,000 miles on it. I'll check with Steve. It's four-speed, obviously. What a nice car! It said he made about 2,000 of these. Um, 68 Cobra Jets. Trunks like brand new. Said that uh, he had bought it and somebody was doing a restoration on it when he bought it. They had receipts for $26,000 worth of parts. And uh, he was able to buy it from them. And uh, he's got parts left over and he used parts to build the other car, the GT he's got. So he came out pretty well. But uh, the car's all original. Man, what a nice car. Folks, you don't even know what you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? These things are so far and few between, you don't even know what you're seeing. And it doesn't say it on the outside anywhere. I mean, it says GT down here, but it doesn't say uh, 428 Cobra Jet anywhere. So, you'd never know unless you open the hood. Let's get one more peek at that. Well, there you go. Good looking car. Let's go see what else we can find. Folks, what I found next was Steve. Um, he got unbusy and I wanted him just to tell me a few facts about the car. Um, Steve, how long have you had the car? I've had a car since 02. Okay, so you've had about eight years. Yeah. What condition was it in when you got it? It was uh, just in primer, probably on wheels, or where you could load it on a trailer, and the rest of it's all in parts. Uh, we took a trailer and three pickup trucks to haul it home. No kidding. And so it was a basket case, basically. Pretty much, yes. Was it just down to the shell and it all spread all over, or was the parts still on a lot of it? No, there wasn't no parts on it. There wasn't hardly a boat in it, uh, other than just the whole of the wheels on it. That's the only thing the boats was in. It was down to just a naked shell, and uh, everything had to just be packed up in three different trucks and hauled home. Wow. How long did it take you to put it together? I worked on six months. When I first started, it was a good car, good body, good straight body. There wasn't no welding to do, no rust, no nothing like that. So all I had to do was start sanding and finishing it. I got you. Wow. And you did that work at your house? At my house, yes. Who shot the paint for you? The paint, uh, buddy, a friend of mine, Scotty Troutman. Okay. He works for Bobby Alloway and everything. He, he done the spraying for me. He shot the other one for you too, didn't yes, he? Yes, he did. Yeah. Was it originally a red car? Yes, it is. Original color. Uh, everything is a matching number on it except the date code on the block, and it's got the replacement block in it. Right. Somebody blew it up or something. Yeah, the original owner, uh, I got a letter from the original owner saying, uh, you know, that uh, it is a true Cobra Jet block and uh, it's not the original block that come with it, but it is a correct block for the car. But all the rest of the stuff under there is original. Everything is original. What about the interior? The interior, it's got the original seat covers. Wow. All the seats is still no original. No kidding. Uh, but I put a new headliner in it, new carpet in it. No kidding. And, uh, that stuff dry rotted, I guess. Uh, the carpet and the headliner. Probably, uh, uh, or they just tuck it out for some oh, reason. Oh, you reason. didn't have it. I got gotcha. you. But, but uh, anyway, uh, the, it's originally had 60,000 miles on it when I bought it. 
Wow. The letters that uh, from the original owner said that's the original miles on it when he sold it. I got you. And everything, and I've got, I think, 64 on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just looking at the speedometer, and I didn't want to comment if that was original or not, but yeah. folks, yeah, that's an original mile car yeah. then, 64,000. Wow. It has been completely restored. Every boat in is brand new. There wow. Like, uh, Awesome, awesome, awesome. Have you dynoed it or anything? No, I haven't dynoed it, but I did uh, balance it and everything uh, when I built the engine. I balanced everything in the engine. I got gotcha. you. Now, do you know what they what they uh, advertised the performance as uh, back in '68? Ford uh, advertised them at 335. Oh no. But uh, the book says everyone they dyno was 14 plus. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. So this was the hot rod. Yeah. How many did they make? They made 2,000 of the fastbacks. And they made uh, 54 of coupes and convertibles. Sweet. All right. Anything else you can tell us about it? Um, no, that's about covers everything. It's a good car. Uh, I love getting it out and playing with it. I it bet. Makes me feel 16 again. I bet. I bet. <laughs> well, I bet you got to be thinking like a 16-year-old to have fun in it. Is there any chance I can get you to a start it for us? Maybe shut the hood and start it for us? Uh, sure can. Just because I mean this is history here, and I I want to have on film a uh, on video what a 428 Cobra Jet Mustang sounds like. Folks, this is a special treat for us. I mean, this isn't a built mode. I mean, it's balanced and all that. But back in 68, if you got a, uh, a Mustang GT with a Cobra Jet in it, this is what it would sound like. Relatively mild. Let's get back here. Let's get back where the exhausts are at. All right, now here we go. Here we go. Yeah. That's what they're supposed to. There you go. Oh, yeah, see, there you go. Thank you, Steve. Awesome, awesome car. I think this pickup truck over here wants to race them now. I got you a race with the pickup truck. Okay. <laughs> Steve, thanks so much for showing us your car. You're welcome. Thank you, brother. Have a good day.